What is going on all you beautiful and sexy people? This is Manufactured Opinion here, bringing you some more Destiny gameplay. And today I have for you an earth farming method, method, uh, chest farming method, if you will, that kind of builds off of other YouTube videos I've seen. Kind of throws in a few more chest locations that I haven't seen mentioned. And also a couple of infinitely spawning chests, if I can get them to show up in this live commentary, I will show you. If not, I have some pre-recorded sessions that I'll go ahead and show you. But essentially what it entails is you open the chest and then you run to a certain location and change the area as fast as possible and then run back to the, where that chest was and it should have spawned again and you just keep running back and forth uh, for as long as you deem necessary and uh, the chest just keeps spawning. A couple of things that make it uh, quite impractical. One, nobody else can be in the area and people are on Earth all the time. I am on PS3, the console that... Uh, sold the least amount of Destiny copies, so that that's in my favor, but uh, every time somebody pops into the area, that chest will disappear. Um, also, it can take a considerable amount of time, as you guys know, chests spawn all over the place all the time. Uh, and trying to get them to spawn in one particular uh, area can, quite, can take quite a bit amount of time, so uh, that's another reason why this is impractical, which is why I recommend you make it part of a larger farming patrol of Earth, which is why I'm showing you my whole, uh... Give me those! Mmm, nom 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 nom. Hey, it's legal on Earth, alright? Don't judge me, man. I like my spin metal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the rock yards. It's kind of a bit, bit of a hike, but I want to show you exactly how to get there from patrol, uh, which is another thing I wanted to bring up while we're, while we're taking a nice stroll there. Uh, you can bring your sparrow through this whole location if you want to as well. But, um, yeah, I've been seeing a lot of YouTube videos lately. YouTubers telling people to farm stuff on strike missions. Uh, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but I feel like that's a huge dick move. Uh, when you join a strike mission, people are depending on you to complete said strike mission. I mean, I know it's just a game. Everybody plays how they want to play, but, uh... When you're joining something uh, that requires a team like that, you have to be expected to at least try to complete that particular mission. Um, at least when I join with other people, unless they have connection issues, it absolutely pisses me off when somebody dies for the first time and then they, they just depart because they got pissed off they died. Uh, like, ch like a child. Um, so, do this on patrol. Take the extra five minutes to go all the way there. Instead of taking the shortcut and going straight to the strike mission that takes you closer to the rock yards. Oh, before we get there, sometimes a chest spawns over... Ooh! Num nums! Stop shooting me, man! I come in peace! Always loads right there. Alright, so I'm gonna start the farming patrol here for uh, chests. Like I said, this builds off some other videos that I've seen uh, that were posted a couple of days ago, a few days ago. Uh, but the, all of those, you know, each one's different. All of them miss certain locations. I'm sure I might miss some. We've been doing this for like four or five hours. So please, if I miss some locations of chests, let me know. But uh, first and foremost, there can be a chest in this tube here. Uh, spin metal will be spawning all over the place. Uh, it's hard to pin down exact locations. You, you literally, when you're running through this, you'll see so many, so many spots. Um, just go ahead and pick those up as well. Kill enemies if you would like. Whatever enhances your chances of getting uh, some engrams. It's always a good thing. Chest can spawn in here. Chest can spawn on the roof. Exotic fusion rifle, so boss. This is where you'll find most of your uh, your chests in these rooms here. Uh, in these little dark, dank rooms. Who knows what they do in there. Bah! High five, buddy. And see, like, see how, pe how it says people are near right now? Those infinitely spawning chests that we may find later on in this run will not work when there's people in the area. So, that's why I suggest just making a, a whole farming route like this. Or maybe even go into Skywatch Cave if you really want to. But you don't get spin metal and blueprints and stuff like that from Skywatch, Skywatch Cave. Can be a chest in here. 
There can be a chest up there on that ledge over there. That other room I looked into earlier. Be a chest over here. Sometimes chests down here. It's been quite some time since I've seen one over here. Sometimes it's dumpster diving. Sometimes it's on this ledge. Sometimes it's over there. All depends. I'm over here. Sometimes there can be chests in here. Ooh! Make sure you listen for the noise, too, that they make. All chests and uh, farm or upgrade materials make noises. Sometimes there's one under here. And here. I've seen one in the corner over here once out of the four hours I've been doing this. Sometimes there's one behind this train right here. In this room. Ooh. Give me something good. Lame. Alright. And now we're getting towards the area with the infinitely spawning chests. Um, if they're not here, I have some pre-recorded stuff that I'll show you. Uh, so if there's a, a weird jump in this video of commentary style sounding different, uh, this is a live commentary. My pre-recorded stuff will always, obviously be uh, post on live commentary. <laughs> All right, there could be there could be a chest in here, which is one of the ones you can get to infinitely respawn. Um, I guess technically all chests infinitely respawn, but this uh, this method is a bit quicker because you'd just be running to the same location each time. Sometimes there's one in here and well that here as well that you can do, um, and then the best one to get is this one over here. Since none of them showed up in this particular portion, uh, I'll just show you. I'll just show you some pre-recorded stuff uh, that you can you can go ahead and take a look at, and then I'll show you the end of the uh, the end of the farming run after that. Alrighty, so I just got a quick clip here, uh, kind of sped up a little bit, just to show you this infinitely respawning uh, chest trick. Uh, as you saw, it's that first room on the left that I previously mentioned. When I first mentioned the infinitely respawning chests, there's a potential of a chest spawning in that room. That's the room I happen to find a chest in. What you want to do is run all the way to the back of this building here. Through all this crap, your left thumb will get very sore holding down that run button over and over and over again. But essentially all you have to do is go to the back of that, that building, uh, go back to the chest you found, whether it be in that room, that room to the right over there, this room behind the pole. You should keep running back and forth over and over and over again. Uh, and like I mentioned, this method is extremely finicky. Sometimes the chest just won't show up again. Uh, if somebody else spawns into the area, the chest will completely disappear. Or, um, you know, it does take quite some time, depending on, you know, your random number generator, uh, for the chest to show up in these particular locations. Uh, so, like I said, it's impractical. Um, it's just a way, if the chests happen to show up there, to, uh, to speed up your farming process. And if they do, I highly recommend you utilize this because it does speed it up. You'll, you'll find yourself with tons of spin metal. You'll find yourself with uh, tons of blue engrams, uh, ship, ship print, blueprints, whatever the case may be. Uh, so I definitely recommend that you use this. Uh, it is an awesome method to use, uh, and hopefully you find it helpful. gone over that um, hopefully you found it somewhat useful like I said there's a few things that make it impractical just to go over it again I'm sure I probably went over it 500 times by now but one as soon as somebody shows up in the area that will no longer work uh, two it's a lot of running and your left thumb will start to hurt and three it takes quite some time sometimes to get those chests to show up uh, so it makes it highly impractical that's why I just just once again recommend make it part of a a full farming run and if you're able to do it a few times to kind of speed up your your uh, your material gathering if you will then uh, all the more power to us but anyways we'll finish this run off here sometimes a chest up here ooh sometimes a chest down here 
And then we're going to be coming up on some chests that I've seen people miss before. Um... Grenade! There'll be a chest in between these boxes here. Chest in this here. And... Last but not least... There can be a chest back here. And then, no need to go back to orbit and do it all over again. Uh, all you have to do, I mean, depending on whether you did the, the infinite spawning chests, uh, it doesn't really matter. The, the amount of time it takes to run around this circuit, everything will respawn again. Chest locations will respawn, you just do everything over. Killing shit, if that's your... If that's your cup OT. And, uh, I think that's gonna be it for this video. It's already pretty long, just for a farming method. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you found it useful. And if you can get that, uh, infinite spawning chest thing to work, it is a bit... I don't know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. If you can get it to work, it's awesome. Because you can get, like, 100 spin metal in, like, 20 minutes. Um... It's just like it's just like everything else in this game it's all it's all based on luck but uh it has worked for me quite a few times uh and they did get me quite a few spin metal as you can see um definitely worth it i got three or four different ship blueprints from it uh, a couple blue engrams one legendary engram uh and that's for that's for from four hours so but anyways i'm gonna shut up now guys like i said hope you enjoyed um, hope you're enjoying Destiny if you have it. Like I said, let me know any other chest locations that I may have missed, but this is probably one of my favorite. Uh, I hope it becomes your favorite too. So, uh, take care everybody. And, I hope you are enjoying life. See ya.